Welcome back to B&D, guys. We're doing one more of these because they're easy to record and they give us something to talk about. Who knows? There might be more than just one more. It depends on how we're feeling in the moment, the time, and the day. Every day. I can't remember if I took those. You didn't. No, no, I did. Did you? I took them at like 6 in the morning. Yeah, so it's about time for you to take another. Anyways, it hasn't been 12 hours. Uh, watch this sad commercial over and over. I don't... Those commercials about uh, dogs. Oh. Or <coughs> or watch bad workout infomercial. Uh, the bad infomercial. workouts are funny. Yeah, they're funny. So there's no, like, there's not really. I, uh, what, do you yeah, want to be see? sad or do you want to laugh? Like the bad like workout things. Like those uh, old 70s ones where they're, like, really into it and, like, yeah, and, like, flexing and all that shit. It's funny. Or, like, that weird one where it's, like, the Japanese girl that has, like, l like lumps on her arms with dogs that have lumps on their arms and they're working out. Anyways, next. Uh, be featured on a show Bridezilla. Or be featured on the show What Not to Wear. I don't know what Brad's, Bradzilla is, so I'll, I'll be on what not to wear because that's pretty self explanatory. Bradzilla's is where you have a fucking bride that goes nutso. Does she go fucking out. re? She flips out about every single little detail of your Fuck wedding. Fuck that. Fuck that. And what uh, not uh, to wear I mean, is clearly. Look at our outfits normally. Oh, I think I at least pull something off. Sometimes. Man, I know some girls that would like you to pull some stuff off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where are these girls? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was the most sincere thing you have ever said. <laughs> so, because that was all audio and you guys couldn't see it, I was doing my fake laugh about the other joke, and Thomas looks me dead in the eyes with almost like like about to cry face and says, "Where are these girls?" <laughs> Holy shit! I was trying in my head. That's why I paused for a second. I was like, "How do I pull this off perfectly?" You did it, dude. High five for that. That was fantastic. All right. Uh, if you only had one knife, what would you I always go with jelly first. Actually, I do what my stepdad taught me, which is take the peanut butter and jelly, put them in the same dish, stir it together, and then spread it on together. Well, yeah, but I so, always go with jelly first because jelly's slimy, so when you go for the peanut butter, it comes off easier. Never thought of it that way. Me... I usually have my own jar of peanut butter and peanut jar jar of jelly, so I just lick clean the knife before I stick it back in there. Yeah. So uh, I guess go jelly since yeah. it doesn't matter for the two of us. Wow. Really? Okay. But then you get peanut butter stuck in your jelly. But here's the real question: Do you pour the cereal first or the milk first? I pour the cereal first because then it stops the milk from splashing. Exactly. The only time. You should ever pour cereal into milk is when you're making your second bowl with the same milk. Uh, I agree with that. Eat Nutella or eat bacon, Nutella? Nutella. Well, I hate that I've gotten on your whole bacon train thing. Bacon sucks, dude. Like, give us some flack for that, but bacon sucks. I, it makes me literally vomit. And I'm slowly becoming... Vegetarian? Yeah. Not because it's health issues, but just because he doesn't like the taste of meat anymore. Oh, we missed something on that last one down at the bottom. I guess we'll have to read it later. Oh, so we can never eat bacon again. Oh, that's okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> would you rather pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out? Well, Bitch, my hair is my personality. That's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> my toenails are infected, but my hair looks and awesome. And you're about to pull your toe, or you were were about to pull your toenails out anyway. I think I still you got have to to get it, to get clean. So, so to fuck my toenails, dude. No one sees my feet, anyways. Plus, Except for you, I love my hair. Like, yeah, dude, I love my hair. Plus, I think that would include my beard, and I am nothing without my beard anymore. Dude, my beard is my Motherfucker, personality. Motherfucker, we would end up looking like, uh, what's his name? Victor Zaz from Gotham. Oh, Jesus Christ, I do not want to look like Zaz. We would look like Fat Zaz. Zaz is one of my favorite characters, but He's still. really cool, but no. We're too fat for that. We can't pull it off. No, no, this is the one I have. This is where Yeah, I you live. already are the white person. <laughs> in the, well, technically, you're in the Mexican ghetto more than the black ghetto. Eh... 
I, it's a little both. But it's a little both. I, I mean, when I went to school, I was the white kid in the all black school, pretty much. So, so, it's, so we're I'll, both kind of already used to this. So yeah, like, we've lived it our entire lives, just about. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Appar well, I mean, most of the time, if you're a black person in a white neighborhood, you're the richest one there. You're richer than all the it's white like people. It's like blackish. It's like Token from South Park. Oh yeah, that too. I don't know. It's just like this is this is normal. <laughs> yeah, that's our life. So, so we're used to it. Uh, would you rather only dance the Charleston or only dance the Macarena? Charleston's Charleston? what Tracer does. That's her dance. Yeah, I don't like the Macarena, so and the Charleston. Macarena is the. Okay, I'd rather the Charleston. Yeah. If I could learn to dance like that, yeah, then maybe I'd get a girlfriend. <laughs> dude, seriously, dude, do we need to stop the episode? Are you okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh... All right, guys. We're back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you rather? I... <laughs> you all right? You need to say something for <laughs> reason. <laughs> or is it this? Because <laughs> I've done that one. <laughs> He's pointing at the red one, which is where socks and sandals. <laughs> Dude, I would totally wear revealing hot pink clothing. You know me. Oh. I have no shame. I would totally do that. And you've already worn the... Fuck, so who are we going to go with? Yours or mine? I don't care. I've already done this. Odd one. number's mine. We're going with yours. Red. Cool. Fuck yeah. Thank you, D20. Uh, until you're 80, but be morbidly obese. I'm not morbidly. You're pretty close. Not really. Uh, live until you're 50, but have supermodel looks. I don't want to live that long anyway, so I would go with 50. Can I just, like, die at 22? But you're about to be 22 right now. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's up you, here now. If you're playing Connect for against an emotionally unstable man with an explosive temper, would you rather take him down or let him win? So if you're playing it against me, you'd whoop my care. ass. You would take him down. <laughs> it's honestly however the game goes. Yeah. Would you rather be... Well, I mean, as most women say on the internet, if he's below six foot, I'll never sleep with him. But if he's more than six foot, then he already won this hole. So eight foot and you get every woman in the world. I just don't understand the point being four foot tall. That's the only reason my hand immediately well, if, went to eight if feet If I was going to be short, I want to be like, like Vern Troy short. And like, be famous for being that tall. Rather than just be a four foot tall man that never gets laid. You know what I mean? No. Not short, so no. Sleep would you rather sleep on a pillow with a blood stain or sleep on a really hard, uncomfortable pillow? What is It depends, like is the like, blood stain like mine? Was someone murdered and it was murder blood? Or is it like my, one of my pillows at home where I had a bloody nose while I was asleep and it's blood stained because of my nose? Hold on. I need, we're just going to scroll down and see if comments agree with us here. Uh, since I didn't see any criteria. Just a nosebleed, see? Yeah, I go with the... Uh, I roll over mos mosquitoes. Yeah, blood. Uh, let's just go with it's a nose. Wait, weed. wait, wait. Your mother's period blood. That's well, yeah, everyone's like most agreed to that one. So let's wait. No, no. A. Hey. <laughs> well, OK, <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah, we're going to go with what this is what you can do. Yeah. So, yeah, blood. And plus, it's not like you didn't wash it, so it's clean. Half the time when I'm here at your place, I don't use a pillow like it always falls. So I'd rather have a bloodstain pillow than no pillow. And plus, it's not like you can't wash it. Like I said, it's, it's just a stain at that point. It's yeah. clean. It's sanitary. I would rather be a princess, dude. Yeah, because if you pick mermaid, you'd be fucking stuck in taken the water. and harvested. 
Yeah. To be studied, so... Yeah, I'd rather be a princess, dude. And as I already say enough, bitch, I'm fabulous. Hair flip with your bun. Hair flip. flip my hair. Yeah, I, I have know. to fucking pull my hair down. That was the joke. Fuck um, both of these. I die in both of them. Rome, I guess? I don't know. The Romans conquered the Greeks, so that's something to keep in mind. No, Greek, because I... Like, growing up, I really was into Greek mythology, so I'd probably like Greek more than Rome. I'm trying to remember which one was the one that went through, like, the whole artistic eras and whatnot. Probably both of them. Well, yeah, but, like... Well, you're already Italian, so you'd probably go with Rome. I'm scrolling. <laughs> I don't know what you read. <laughs> Shoopy. <laughs> just those first two comments, it's just, or first three, it's just like, wow. People are dicks. That, that, that escalated very quickly. Well, like I said, you'd probably go Rome because you're already Italian. So. I mean, I do want to learn Italian and visit Italy, so, yeah. But I'd go with Greek. No, you can click yours. I don't care. We're going to do the dialogue. I'm always now. odds. Ha ha! Hey, go with Greek, motherfucker. Time. Oh, okay. Apparently a lot more people like Greece. Fuck no, this, fuck I already traffic. have this shit right now. No, I need good I've internet. been dealing with this shit. Yes, but uh, I'm gonna go with the, like, most questions thing is if you get, like, if you go with the traffic, you always have the best internet. And then if you have really bad internet, you never get caught in traffic. I'm gonna go with traffic, because I'd rather have amazing internet when I get no, home No, I'm from saying, traffic. like, I'm tired of this shit. AT&T is the worst fucking company yeah, ever. Yeah, you, you should switch over to Spectrum from what I hear. <laughs> Yeah, no. There's most, no spectrum in this area. That's 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 about right. Nobody likes slow. Uh, well, Sith. Okay. <clears throat> I guess. Well, gray, but more on the Sith side than the Jedi side. Well, yes, but we've discussed it in episodes. What's the difference between them? Go back and find it in whatever series. It was. With the Sith, it's much okay. I'm just gonna say it slight quickly now. With a Sith, it's much easier to become gray than as a Jedi because a Jedi, you're trying to. Adhere to these thoughts and feelings. Uh, well, no you're feelings. You're also talking in the video game realm. Of it's easier to become that from that. Well, I mean, if we're talking the current universe or well, the where the universe stands right now in the movies, I'm not entirely sure because I'm not, I haven't seen the most recent one. But he's talking about most Kotor people are gray. Spl Splotor? Most people in the movies right now, I think they're gray except for. Kylo, but like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know where the fuck everybody stands anymore. But when it comes to the video games, it's much easier to become gray from a Sith because it's easier to... Because you, you already have your things. emotions, and you can become good from that. But as a Jedi, you get stuck in this mindset of, I have to do good, I have to do the best that I can all the time kind of thing, so... Yeah. It's honestly better to be a Sith and than a Jedi. And when plus, you're, when you're a Sith and you do a good <clears> thing, <throat> more people are going to be like, holy shit, that guy is a good guy. Not to mention, I just want to point out the first comment is, um, Force Lightning? Yeah. I mean, Jedis do get Force Lightning, but you have to be really fucking, like, up there. There's only one Jedi that I know of that had Force Lightning, but it's called, like, Force Smite or some shit like that. It's Sith. Definitely a Sith. Fuck Damn. It's because people are just like, yeah, it's good, because, bad. Yeah, it's because most people only see the, the black and white of it. They don't see the gray that we want to be. Anyways, next. Uh, <clears throat> well, who this. This. 100% <clears throat> this. Oh, Flintstone. I was like, who's the first person? Uh, I'd rather this. be Velma. This. Yeah. If yeah. you don't pick Velma, you got Who the hell wrong. wants to be a Flintstone? Yeah, but dabba, no, thank you. I do this half the time anyway. You know what, guys? I think we're going to leave this one here. Would you rather speak in only questions or only movie quotes? Tell us in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time on B&D.